Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com and in this video we're going to do a quick comparison between Windows Phone 8 and Windows Phone 7.5. Let's check it out. Okay, so first we're going to start with the lock screen and we can see this is Windows Phone 7.5 over here and Windows Phone 8 over here and uh, you see we have weather here, it's raining outside, so I have rain on the lock screen. We have very customizable lock screen over here. Uh, you see a Facebook notification there. We only see emails and text messages over there. So next is the start screen. Much different over here on Windows Phone 8. You see lots of different tile sizes. The animation is different. And it takes up more of the width of the screen. Whereas over here we have a negative space over here and a little arrow for the uh, app list. And over here the little arrow has moved to the bottom so if you're going to scroll you're still, you still have a, a visual indication that we can go over here. And now you see the search button is still up here. We still have the jump list. That works the same. Uh, we, st we still have a little arrow over there to go back. So you're just going to have to figure it out on Windows Phone 8. So next let's look at the Me tile. I'm going to click that one and this one. And there's some differences here. You see Share, Profile, we have Post and Update, just uh, differences in the language really. But if I go to Post a Message, we can choose those. I don't have LinkedIn set up over there. And we, we don't have Windows Live anymore over here. If I turn on Facebook, we see we have um, security options for Facebook. So that's really nice. Notifications panel, similar. What's new, pretty much the same. Now the People Hub. You see it flies in pretty much the same. And we have what's new. Oops. And that's bo both of those are filterable. Same as usual. We have recent. Uh, this one is doesn't scroll vertically, but this one does. And now we have a, a together panel over here for the groups and rooms. Now in the messaging, uh, you see more buttons down here. And we also have more attachment options see that there and we also have let's go to the text tons more emoticons so over here we only have kind of like a couple pages worth but we have look at all these tons and tons of emoji pages and pages so that'll be fun And we also have multiple selection for delete. We can delete all threads now. That still supports uh, Instant Messenger for uh, Windows Live, Facebook Chat, and text messaging. Now let's look at the speech UI. Over on Windows Phone 8 we have much more options with the third-party apps. The Photos Hub, not a whole lot has changed. You see pretty much the same options. We have favorites here. These are vertically scrollable. What's new? However, in the albums, we now have multiple selections. And you can send them all, save to SkyDrive, delete them. Send them over NFC, OneNote, Facebook. Now let's look at the Games Hub. Major changes here, in the design at least. Over here we have a, a number of new animations. Let's 
so you can see some differences there. Now let's look at the music. There's my history, there's history here, there's new, there's new, vertically scrollable, apps, apps, Zoom, Xbox, there's your change. And we have a different style button for the play all. And we have radio here, but no more radio over here. Now Office has seen some changes. Different style. Um, notes are no longer in the Office Hub. There's your different uh, document listing. And your locations. And pin new to start is over here, but we don't have that over here because that's part of OneNote, but it's not even available there either. Here's OneNote. So there's OneNote versus OneNote. Much different. Here's our maps. Those have been upgraded. This is using Nokia Maps now. We see the uh, same buttons. Pretty close to the same menu options. However, we have download maps over here. And we have rotate with my current direction, as well as the uh, GPS navigation read aloud option, which is gone from Windows Phone 8. Now, Internet Explorer has seen an upgrade as well. We have uh, Internet Explorer 10 over here versus 9 over there. So there's some new uh, coding support. And we have uh, different buttons. Over here, there's a new option for changing, customizing the address bar button. So I can choose something that I might use more often. Next, let's look at the marketplace versus the store. So you see a slight design change. Let's go to the games section. I kind of think this one looks better, but this one definitely has more information. We also have the new picks for you over here in the uh, games store as well as the app store. This is showing you uh, apps that some friends have liked or uh, is popular in general. Over in the email we have some changes. Finally there is a speech so we can dictate messages here and the inbox uh, can conform to your theme settings if you uh, decide to do that. Next up is Bing. We see a huge upgrade on Bing uh, for Windows Phone 8. You see a slight change in the button layout. However, we see little stuff over here and we can swipe to get all sorts of other information. Whereas this doesn't swipe at all. We still have the little uh, notes about the picture. And also, we have better search results. Jessica Alba. So here we have images, here we have media with videos and pictures. And this doesn't scroll, doesn't, doesn't zoom, doesn't do anything, but we have a great experience over here.
So lastly, let's look at the settings. There's lock and wallpaper, here's lock screen, which we can only change the picture, but here we have much more uh, capabilities for customizing the lock screen, even with apps. Mostly, uh, the changes here are mostly with the language. We do have company apps. That's going to be good for businesses. And here's another big difference, pictures and camera settings. We have, we have a quick share option over here, and I can choose Facebook or SkyDrive, but we don't have that anymore over here. However, this is extendable with apps. So that's a quick look at some of the big changes between Windows Phone 7.5 and the new Windows Phone 8. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and that's it for now.